22 Simple Life Hacks for Eating Food Food is one of those things that makes life so much more bearable. It's not just a source of nourishment, well, it's our main source of nourishment, but it's more than that. We don't just eat out of hunger, we also eat out of boredom, anxiety, and when we're too hot or too cold. When we watch TV and whenever we come across something delicious. But is there any way to make eating food even better? Keep watching and we'll show you how. But first, before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. All right, so eating. Is there a simple life hack or two that we can use to make eating easier or the way we eat more productive? What we mean is there's eating and then there's proper efficient eating. There are food hacks that you can whip out in front of family and friends at a party or a barbecue that'll make everyone think you're on a whole nother level of eating. Then there are more low key food hacks that seem to be a little dorky, so you just use them in private. It doesn't matter which category you fit in when it comes to the food hacks. If you wanna eat more efficiently, do something fun next time you eat or impress the people in your life, we have you covered. Here are 16 clever food hacks to help you pig out the right way. Number one, potato chips, the bowl. Have you ever wondered why potato chips are 70% air and 30% chips? It's to help them stay fresh and keep them from the stale zone. But it's also to give you room so you can do things like this. For this simple life hack, all you need to do is fold down the corners of the bag as you eat your chips. That way, you'll have your very own bowl. Not only do you skip the dishes, but now everyone will be impressed by how resourceful you are. Number two, potato chips two, the fold. Next time you put away your bag of chips, take advantage of the 70% air room. Instead of scrunching it up or just clipping it at the tip, fold your bag down like this diagram. This will keep the chips fresh longer and you don't have to scramble to find the clips to seal the bag. Number three, Skittles. If you want a cute way to serve Skittles or M&Ms, how about turning them into a rainbow? All you need is a dish and a little bit of water. Line up the Skittles or M&Ms in a circle and watch the magic happen. Number four, chocolate Coke. Here's how to make one of those fun chocolate Coke bottles. Melt enough chocolate to fill the bottle you've chosen. Then pour the melted chocolate into the bottle using a funnel. Do it in two layers to avoid cracking. Leave it in the freezer overnight. Then take it out. Peel off the plastic casing and fill the resulting chocolate Coke bottle with your favorite candy. Number five, container. This is a pretty straightforward DIY container. You can do this for a barbecue, french fry holder, or for movie nights at home. You can also decorate them and use them for a baby shower. Number six. Pringles. No more reaching into a tube of chips and getting your hands stuck there. Just slide a sheet of paper into the tube and pull the chips out like this. Number seven, Oreos, the fork. Nobody understands the plight of someone who loves messy food but doesn't like to use their hands to eat it. If you just don't want your hands to get sticky when you eat Oreos and milk, try dunking them with a fork instead. Number eight, Oreos the chopsticks, or if all your dishes are dirty or you don't use forks at your home, try doing it with chopsticks. This is also a great way to practice using chopsticks if you're really bad at it. Number nine, sandwiches. Does the world's most efficient sandwich exist? I don't think we'll ever know. For now, cut your round ham slices in half and put them inside your sandwich with the curved side inside. That way, your entire ham slice will be part of the sandwich. Number 10, strawberries. Sometimes, surprises happen. You could be at a picnic or at a park with the kids when you realize you forgot to bring a knife for de-stimming the strawberries. Don't panic. Just push the straw through the strawberry starting at the bottom and force the stem out. Number 11, soda straws. The summer weather can be a little unpredictable, especially when it comes to the wind. To stop your straws from getting windswept, just insert them through the hole of the tab in your can. Number 12, popsicles. Everyone loves good ice cream popsicles, 
The cool fruitiness can brighten someone's day and make them forget about all their woes. But the mess caused by popsicle melting can also dampen someone's mood. Next time, use a cupcake liner to stop the drip. Number 13. Chocolate Strawberries Do you love strawberries and chocolate? Do you want to learn a new creative way to eat this snack? Just melt some chocolate, pour it in an ice bucket, stick some strawberries into it, and freeze them overnight. The result is a delicious strawberry chocolate cube. Number 14. Apples You like apples? Well, if you ran out of Ziploc bags or simply want a better way to carry your apples around, try this. Slice an apple up, shape the slices back to their old shape as much as you can, and wrap an elastic band around the middle of the apple puzzle. No plastic is necessary. How do you like them apples? Number 15. Cherries Here's another handy fruit tip. This time, it's for removing the pits from your cherries. You can use a chopstick or straw to accomplish this. Just push the cherry on top of the opening of the bottle and dig the stick, chopstick, or straw through it until the pit falls onto the bottle. Number 16. Butter. There's nothing more frustrating than cold, hard butter that won't budge no matter how much you scrape your knife over it. To solve this, warm up a glass. You can do this by running it under hot water and cover the butter stick with it. Then, remove the glass and the outside of the butter should be softer. Number 17. Eggs. You could have oatmeal, cereal, or a bagel for breakfast every morning. Or, you could try out this simple life hack. For those of us who have busy mornings, or those of us who wake up five minutes before we need to leave for work, try microwaving eggs. With the combination of a bowl, a microwave, and some patience, you too can enjoy a real breakfast of champions. Number 18. Ground beef. Listen, the worst thing that could happen to anyone in the world is having to break up frozen ground beef. Take it out of the freezer, slamming it around, trying to jab it with a knife like you're a chef version of Michael Myers, it's just beyond a hassle. However, if you just section off your ground beef before you put it in the freezer, the hassle's taken away. You can just take out a section and cook that baby up. Number 19. Pickles. If you're anything like us, you love a fresh, crispy pickle. With the help of a simple life hack and some leftover pickle brine, you also can have some of the crunchiest, most delectable pickles you've ever tasted. Just slice up some cucumber, toss the slices into some leftover pickle brine, and refrigerate for a couple days. When you open up the jar, you'll find that your cucumbers have magically transformed into tasty pickles. Isn't food science neat? Number 20. Celery. Do you, like us, hate limp celery? Don't worry, because we've found a way to make celery great again. Or if not great, it'll at least stand up straight. If you've still got the root on your floppy celery, chop it off. If not, just take a little off the top and the bottom. Then throw your droopy celery into a jar or pitcher or a vat of ice cold water. In no time, your celery should be hard and erect once more. Keep in mind, this trick also works for other vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, lettuce, and spinach. Number 21, vegetable peeler gross vegetables. We want to eat junk food, some really unhealthy stuff. Why would I ever buy a vegetable peeler? That was our impression of you, dear viewer. And to be honest, it's not valid. However, there's actually a way you can use your vegetable peeler without ever touching a fruit. No, don't tell anyone we told you this, but it turns out you can actually use it for other things like cheese and butter and even chocolate. Shh. This is just a secret between you and us. You're welcome. Number 22, ice cream. Speaking of DIY food hacks for junk food, let's talk about freezer burn. How about we set the stage for you? Your significant other just broke up with you. You need to have a good cry and you need some comfort food to help you through it. You rush to the freezer and find some ice cream, but oh no, it's freezer burned. If you've ever run into this problem, then this simple life hack is just for you. Just keep cutting the ice cream container as you go. That way, you'll reduce the amount of exposure the ice cream has, which, as we all know, is the reason you get freezer burn in the first place. And that's it. Did you enjoy our list? Did we forget any genius fast food life hacks? Leave us some of your most innovative, simple life hacks in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, 
subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.